This is Headlines from Palestine. I'm Chris Smiley with If Americans Knew. 17-year-old Palestinian activist Ahed Tamimi was just sentenced to eight months in prison on charges of assault and incitement resulting from a video showing her slapping an Israeli soldier. Nariman Tamimi, Ahed's mother, will also spend eight months in prison on charges of assault and incitement for recording the incident. You've said you wanted to slap Ahed Tamimi. Yeah, if I was there instead of, instead of those soldiers, I would kick her face. In the end of the day, yeah, we make Ahed Tamimi a, a symbol. Why you need to publish footage of her in the court, footage of her in, in jail? Don't do it. Do things quietly, like they used to do in Guantanamo Bay in, in the state. You need to torture her. I, I didn't say torture her, but do it quietly. Israeli society's violent obsession with Ahed Tamimi reached disturbing levels when Ben Caspit, one of Israel's most prominent political pundits, called for her jailers to, quote, exact a price at some other opportunity, in the dark, without witnesses and cameras. This news comes just two days after an Israeli soldier caught executing an incapacitated Palestinian man had his sentence reduced to nine months. Here's the soldier Elor Azaria walking up to the man, readying his rifle and firing. The fact that Azaria was even arrested created a huge outcry and debate in Israel. And all the Jewish people over Israel think that Elor Azaria is a hero and Elor Azaria did what he's supposed to do, that Elor Azaria has a big, big support of 80% of the Jewish people in Israel. I visited Ahed Tamimi and her village in Abisal last year. We witnessed armed settlers viciously attack a small peaceful protest going after women and children. Here a man gets out of his car and immediately strikes a woman in the face. Uh, down there you were one of the ones that was attacked, right? Yeah. I mean you were hit, you were hit. Yeah, were they pushed down? me down the, the hill. Um, and um, yeah, two settler men, grown men. Um, I saw them like attack a couple other women as well. Yeah. Um, I've never been attacked by a man before, so it was kind of very shocking. And then right. Israeli soldiers also witnessed the violence, but nothing was done. In fact, the Palestinians and supporters were chased out. And after the people dispersed, the soldiers invaded the Palestinian village to punish the town for protesting. So if Ahed Tamimi received eight months for hitting soldiers illegally occupying her land, what sentence should the settler have received for punching a woman peacefully protesting? The judicial action in these cases, or lack thereof, is typical. It is the result of a discriminatory system that has a long and disturbing history. Palestinians in the West Bank are governed by military law alongside Jewish settlers who were governed by Israeli civil law. So Israel's West Bank military justice system tries only Palestinians like Ahed Tamimi, whereas Israelis and settlers are tried in civilian courts. Palestinians are convicted at a rate of virtually 100% in this military system, which the UN says violates international law and is part of an apartheid system. A UN report also found that in complaints filed to the Israeli police by Palestinians against settlers, nobody is ever even indicted 90% of the time. So it is no surprise that nothing came of this while this landed I head to Mimi in jail. Thank you for watching. Please share this video and we'll catch you next time for more news from Palestine.